Irrigation Mart. We savvy irrigation. In this video, we will demonstrate how to measure the flow rate from a spigot or hose bib. With the proper equipment, this same process may be used to measure the flow rate for other applications, such as wells. Flow rate is the amount of water that is pushed through your system in a given amount of time. Items you will need. A container of known volume. We will use a 5 gallon bucket. A stopwatch or some other timekeeping device that measures down to the second. A pressure gauge that can attach directly to the hose bib or spigot. It needs to have a valve attached to one end so as to give control over water flow. It is preferable to measure as closely to the water source as possible. This is so you can remove any variable that may occur with a hose or pipe. The pressure gauge will be measuring in pounds per square inch, or PSI. A way to record your findings, such as a pen and paper. First we will demonstrate how to measure the static pressure with no flow. Ensure that the valve at the hose spigot is in the closed or off position. Attach the pressure gauge with the valve to the spigot. We are using a 0 to 60 PSI gauge, but you can use any size gauge as long as it is appropriate to your application. Turn the hose valve on full. The pressure gauge will give you your static pressure reading. Record this reading. A typical household spigot will most likely read anywhere from 30 to 80 PSI. The flow rate equation is volume units over time units. Our volume units are in gallons, in this case a 5 gallon bucket. Our time units will be in minutes. With the pressure gauge attached to the hose spigot, open the hose valve wide open and then open the valve that will allow water to flow through the pressure gauge. Begin your timer when you place the bucket under the flowing water. This will give you an open flow reading. Stop the timer when the bucket is filled or when it reaches your volume measurement. Record this reading. Now you can place the measurement in the flow rate equation. We have a 5 gallon bucket. Our system at open flow took 30 seconds to fill the bucket. Therefore, our flow rate at open flow is 10 gallons per minute. All systems have an ideal range of operation over which devices with varying pressure and flow requirements may be used. Most drip systems require low pressure. In contrast, many sprinkler systems need higher pressure. A flow rate reading at a known pressure will improve the accuracy of your flow rate measurements and will help determine your area's ideal operating range. Fully open the valve on the pressure gauge, but only open the valve on the hose spigot until the gauge reads your desired range. For our demonstration, we chose to open the flow until our gauge reads 30 PSI. We perform the same test with the 5 gallon bucket. Begin your timer when you place the bucket under the flowing water. Stop the timer when the bucket is filled or when it reaches your volume measurement. Record this reading. This time when we fill in the equation with our measurements, we will have our flow rate at a known operating range. We are still using our 5 gallon bucket. Our system took 45 seconds to fill the bucket. Therefore, our flow rate at 30 psi is 6.7 gallons per minute. All the products in this video are available from Irrigation Mart. If you have any questions about the information in this video, or if you would like further instructions on performing a flow rate test, please call our technical staff at 800-SAY-RAIN. Irrigation Mart. We savvy irrigation.